How can Chelsea solve all their problems by Saturday? Chelsea have a lot of fixing to do before they face Crystal Palace on Saturday, after winning the Super Cup, have a bit of that lovely piece of narrative in Charlie White's Sun match report from Chelsea's Super Cup victory over Villarreal on Wednesday night about Chelsea record signing Keepa losing that moniker to Romelu Lukaku in the week that his heroics won them a trophy. As club record signings go, Keepa Arizabalaga has been a bit of a disaster. But not in Belfast last night. After his spot kick heroics landed Chelsea the UEFA Super Cup. The 71.6 pound million keeper will lose his tag as the club's most expensive capture. As story arcs go, it's a cracker. There then follows some lovely bump about the contrast between Keepa and Lukaku as the mantle is passed from one to the other. Pesky fact, Kai Havertz is Chelsea's club record signing. All of the problems Chelsea won the Super Cup despite largely keeping Euro 2020 finalists Mason Mount, Rhys James, Ben Chilwell and Jorginho on the bench, and with record signing Romelu Lukaku arriving later this week. They seemed pretty happy. But happiness and success do not drive clicks so here are the Mirror website with their take on proceedings. 5 problems for Thomas Tuchel and Chelsea to solve after UEFA Super Cup penalty shootout win 0. And how long does he have to solve these five problems after adding the Super Cup to the Champions League? Chelsea battled to a penalty shootout win over Villarreal to clinch the UEFA Super Cup, but there were some issues that Thomas Tuchel may need to resolve before they face Crystal Palace next so at least he has until Saturday at 3pm to fix Chelsea before they play a lower mid-table Premier League side. Here goes, Ziyech turns over a new leaf. Hmm. That sounds kind of like a good thing. Can he solve the problem of Ziyech looking much better by Saturday? His shoulder injury may actually do that job for him. Next. Timo Werner has a part to play again. It kind of sounds like a good thing to have different attacking options. We're starting to suspect, though that seems incredible, that Chelsea do not have five problems to solve before Saturday after all. Chelsea can just rely on Lukaku maybe they can. It's hard to know before Lukaku actually arrives. As for the idea that he will need some time, to get back up to speed, he scored 10 goals in his first 13 Serie A games for Inter Milan, so we suspect things might go all right. Chalaba display undermines Count pursued a problem that a young man played quite well. However can Chelsea solve these mounting problems before 3pm on Saturday? Chelsea need a Conte understudy finally, something that can be fixed in the next 48 hours. And this was perfectly illustrated by the way in which Chelsea lost a sobering total of one Premier League game of the first 10 Thomas Tuchel managed without Conte, including a 4-1 win over Crystal Palace. It never rains, but it pies down. Emotional tractor right elsewhere in the sun, Paul Jiggins is every inch the Millwall fan as he is utterly confused by Lionel Messi's mixed emotions this week. As we detailed on Wednesday, it's really quite normal to be sad about losing one thing, but happy at gaining another, but this is baffling to our favorite comedy Cockney. From tears in Barcelona on Sunday to smiles in Paris yesterday. We know Lionel Messi can turn a game in an instant, but even by his standards this was ridiculous. Less than 72 hours after crying in Catalonia, the world's greatest player looked a picture of joy at his Paris Saint-Germain unveiling. Sad and happy within three whole days. Who has ever heard of such a thing? MRM what's even better than putting Messi in a headline? Getting Messi and Ronaldo into the same headline, of course. What's even better than getting Messi and Ronaldo into the same headline? Only getting Messi, Ronaldo and Bloody Mbapp into a headline, of course. So congratulations to Lewis Winter of the Express website for this cracker. PSG will unite Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi in 2022, when Real Madrid sign Mbapp the will in quotation marks is really quite something especially when it is downgraded to the prospect of Ronaldo and Messi lining up alongside each other within eight paragraphs. But still, Messi, Ronaldo, and Mbapp no doubt earns winter a lovely biscuit at express towers. Click, click, clickety click. Mr. Ibu to Ben Husband of the Mirror website, who fell short of that gold standard. Cristiano Ronaldo responds to Lionel Messi transfer message after PSG move the naive among you might think that Ronaldo had responded to a transfer message from Lionel Messi, but Media Watch is not so green. This is not our first rodeo. But even we did not see the twist coming that Ronaldo had actually responded to a message from former Southampton defender Jose Font. For the whole hilarious tale let's go straight to the horse's mouth. Obviously in terms of competitors it's going to be even harder for us, but we're up for a challenge, I'm texting Cristiano to come to Lille every day. He's only replied ha ha ha. Only? 
It's almost like Fon did not realize that Ronaldo was responding to a Lionel Messi transfer message.